Welcome to Moving Math and Science. In this video, let's go over how to subtract with absolute value. Friendly reminder, remember absolute value is the distance from zero. So, here's zero. So, if you have an absolute value of two, the distance, a positive two is two places from zero, and a negative two is two places from zero. So, it's a positive value okay so now we have absolute value of three so which is absolute value of negative three is three minus absolute value of four is four so now we have three minus four which is negative one you can also use sads same signs you add keep the sign different signs you subtract we have different signs because technically this negative is attached to this four we have different signs I'm gonna put the larger number on top okay and then I'm gonna put the smaller I'm going to subtract four minus three is one and then I take the sign of the larger number which is negative okay two ways to look at it now in this next one, we have a value inside the absolute uh, bars or absolute value signs, okay? So we solve this first and then it's gonna be a positive number. So let's go ahead and apply. We have, first we have this, whenever you have a minus a negative, okay? If you were on the number line and you were subtracting, you would go in this direction, but since it's a negative you go in the opposite direction so you're basically adding so I'm going to change this to addition now a uh, so we have different signs again so I'm going to write six and then um, I'm going to write the four different signs so I'm going to subtract six minus four is two I'm going to take the sign of the larger number, that would be negative 2, however, it's in absolute value, so it's absolute value of 2, which is a positive 2. Okay, so let's go ahead and work some more. This does look similar to the last one, but notice that we have a positive 6. So again, we're, let's solve what's inside the absolute value signs so we have a six remember whenever you subtract a negative it's let's flip it to a positive so we have same signs remember when you have same signs you add and keep the signs so we're going to go six plus four okay uh, just remember a friendly reminder sads same signs add different signs subtract so we have the same signs, and that becomes a 10. So it's the absolute value of 10, which is a positive 10. Okay, now this next one, we're going to go 4, because remember, it's a positive term, minus, and this becomes a 6, okay? Again, 4 minus 6 is negative 2, or you could look at it this way, this negative sign is attached to the number so I'm going to take the larger number and four they're different signs so I will subtract so that's two and then take the sign of the larger number which is six so that's a negative two I hope that was helpful